Hey everyone, it's Miriam, and this week's video is going to be a small compilation of free landscape studies I did from reference pictures I found on Pinterest. They all have, they all feature a lonely house in the landscape, so this is why I titled the video Lonely Houses. Um, I like to do little landscapes studies every so often. Some of you that have been following me for a while might have seen the old ones that I posted last year. And uh, um, I don't do them very often because landscapes are really not my comfort zone and I actually find it very difficult to find them interesting. Although it's become better since I started trying making more of a conscious effort to actually do some. Because they do add really interesting elements to my knowledge and I think they, they train my eye to see things a bit better and you get to understand a bit better the, the you know, the relationship between colours and light and structure and composition. and. So I think it's very important and I also think that it's important not to get stuck in your comfort zone and, and it's very easy to do so I try to get out of it when I can. So these were a little, also they, they're kind of a bit more relaxing to me to do because obviously I have a very, um, very precise reference to go for, to go for, I'm literally copying a reference, I'm not actually creating a piece of work that comes from my imagination, so they kind of relax my brain a little bit and I tend to do them as a practice but also even though I don't particularly enjoy painting landscapes, it's still an exercise that relaxes me more than doing my own work does. So uh, there's kind of, there's always going to be a few study videos and the like because I'm always doing some, there's always stuff to practice and study. So yeah, this is the first part and then I'll have another part where I painted some paths um, in the next few weeks. Well actually not in the next few weeks because I think I'm going to film in October but I'll come back to that in a minute. But um, there's, there's another part to this vid to these um, little landscape studies, I did six in total, but there's only three in this one with the little lonely houses. So I don't actually have that much to say about the actual pictures I'm painting. Um, I did them all in gouache as usual and you can find this, the description and the list of all the things I've used in this description below if you're interested. But um, other than the painting themselves, I wanted to, to talk a bit about a bunch of different other things and I need your opinion on some of them and such. So if you I'm happy to listen to me ramble again. I did have a plan. I did want to write a script and do a particular subject for this video, but I think I was I was too tired and too busy, and it, it just became a bit all overwhelming. So I decided to just do a bit more more rambling videos for this for this one. I hope you guys don't mind. Um, actually, one of my questions is about my channel, and it's um I'm intrigued to know what you guys think of the fact that I upload not necessarily every week my personal work and personal finished pieces but also studies like these and exercises and um, things that are more kind of uh, studying and practicing rather than necessarily my own finished work all the time and you guys seem to respond very well to that you guys seem to enjoy the fact that my my content is quite varied um, but I'd be interested to know exactly your thoughts about it and whether you think that is a good handle on my channel. If it's a, if it's an, if it keeps interesting for you guys, or if you'd like to, or if you'd prefer to see more of my personal work or not. Um, it'd be interesting to know. I just, I'm interesting. It's, it's, I'd, be, I'd be interested to know what you guys find is most stimulating. Um, also, I'd. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to apologise. I meant to do that for a while, but I kept hoping I would be able to go back to the way things were, but obviously that was just stupid hope. But um, I can't reply to all the comments anymore, I'm afraid. <laughs> I really liked being able to reply to each and every one of your comments, and I do read each and every one of them, and they, and you guys, die, 99% of you are just so nice, um, and so constructive, and just... Thank you, as always, from the you know bottom of my heart. But unfortunately, it's come to a point where I just can't keep up with the comments anymore. So I will definitely try my best to go back and reply to questions if you guys have any. So if I see someone asking a question, I usually make a note to go back and answer that question. It might take me a few weeks, but I'll, I'll definitely try to do that. Um, but as as far as all comments go, I can't do that anymore. And it comes to the same in, on Instagram, actually. I'm getting quite a lot of DMs. And when I get direct messages, I like to actually 
start a conversation with the person who's written to me and especially if they've been asking for advice or been really kind and told me that they love my work and inspires them and said I'd just like to create a rapport and actually get to know the person who's written but unfortunately that's becoming a bit unrealistic <laughs> because I'm actually spending more time having conversations with people than I am have, than I am working and and that's become productive really um so I, I really feel bad I wish I had I wish I had two lives in parallel one where I could just <laughs> have a relationship with everyone that you know a human to human relationship and and then another life of exactly the same amount of time to work but unfortunately that's not the case is it so if if you write to me be certain I do see all the messages that you guys send and I'm forever grateful for them I truly truly am um unfortunately I just don't really have the time to reply to everyone anymore so please don't take it personally I, I really do try my best Anyway, the next topic I wanted to, to talk about was um, the good old Inktober topic. I'm obviously going to participate. <laughs> I only discovered Inktober about two years ago and uh, decided to join two years ago. And so far, the last two years, I have not able been able to finish it because both years I was working. And usually, so the past few years I was obviously on Game of Thrones for those both Octobers. and. It, it it's an amazing job but it's crazy like <laughs> I'm up at five in the morning and I'm back at nine in the evening and I just don't have the time to put together proper illustrations and I don't have the time to actually do it every day or energy at least like I, I could find the time to squeeze a sketch in but I am just too exhausted and I have an hour and some and, and 20 minutes drive each way and it was dangerous for me to not get enough sleep, so <laughs> I just couldn't finish. Excuses, excuses, I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> but um, I'm hoping that this year will be a bit better. I am uh, i don't think I'll be working, I don't know. It's a bit in limbo right now whether I'll be working for October, for October or not. So far, I don't have any plans for the first week, so I'm actually definitely going to be trying to do a drawing in ink every day. I have also, because I'm a complete overachiever, I've decided to um, participate in Month of Fear also and I've got all my subjects ready for those prompts. <laughs> oh dear, but um, we'll see if I manage any of it. I'm going to do my best to try and do as many of, of it as I can. I'm not entirely sure I'll be able to, but I'm not putting any pressure on myself. I'm just going to try and do as best I can and actually improve in the skills that Inktober makes you develop so that's going to be my focus rather than trying to finish it'll be a goal to finish but it won't be my focus um if you guys are participating i'd love to hear do you do write in the comments if you guys are thinking of participating and if you're using the official prompts or anyone else's prompts or if you're thinking of doing drawer in or if you're thinking of month of fear or participating in map graves prompts i don't know there's so many lovely prompts out there for, for, Inkto for october really it's fantastic um anyway if you are i'm not following any prompts i'm following my own ideas and i think my theme is going to be focused on mental illnesses so i'm going to try and create an illustration slash creature kind of design each day and i'm going to be asking my instagram followers to interpret my drawings and i, I, I would love to hear stories and hear and hear an interpretation, personal interpretation behind my drawings from my followers. So if you guys are interested in joining for that, feel free to come over and say hi on Instagram at Miriam Tilson. Obviously the link is in the description. But uh, yeah, this is going to be my focus and uh, you are more than welcome to join in that kind of theme if you feel like. I don't have an official list of prompts for myself, but if you guys are inspired by the, by the theme, you're obviously welcome to join. I will obviously be filming some of it i don't know if i'm going to be filming each drawing i will film some drawings and i will also film my month of fear illustrations if i manage to fit them in i'm not entirely sure if i'm going to be uploading the month of fear vi videos or if i'm going to be uploading the inktober videos or both i'll see how much time i have on my hands and if if i can muster um the energy to <laughs> upload two videos a week um we'll see 
but I really like to be able to, obviously, and I, I like this whole month to be a bit, a bit of a challenge, especially if I'm not working, it'll be the first year I actually have the time to spend on, on this, but we'll see. Any, anyway, this is all a bit, um, this is all me surmising and, and kind of talking out loud to myself and planning things to myself, really. <laughs> So yeah, let me know you in the comments if you guys are participating in Inktober or any other October challenge going on. Um, and uh, let me know if you've tried it in the past, if you've managed to finish, what you think of it, what your experience has been with it. I'd love to hear it all as always and I'll definitely read every, every single comment. <laughs> As a quick side note also, all my drawings from last year's Inktober will be on my shop, uh, so you can buy a small original sketch from me if you feel like it, and I think they'll, I'll probably put them like a cheap, like 15 quid or something up there. So if you want to have a look, the link is in the description below if you want to own a little piece of original art before I put them all in a box and forget about them. <laughs> and if I manage to finish Inktober this year, if I'm happy with them, I'll probably sell those too. So keep up to date with that if you want to. So anyway, this video is coming to an end. It, it was actually a really relaxing to video to do. It was much shorter than the previous videos I've put together the last few weeks. So it felt quite good and it was I, I felt it felt quite nice to just ramble for a bit and not feel quite as stressed and so thank you for listening to me, thank you for watching my work, thank you for supporting me. You can follow me on Instagram at Miriam Tilson if you want to see more of my work or previews of what videos are going to come in the future and stuff like that. And um, I hope you guys are really really well that you are, you are excited about Inktober or Halloween or the end of the year or whatever and that life is going well for all of you. Keep going, keep trying and... Um, Take very good care of yourself and I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye everyone!